Dogs are one of the oldest animals that human beings are known to have as a pet, and rightly so as they are obedient, faithful and very protective of their families. But do you know that some breeds of dogs are considered illegal in different parts of the world? Yeah, you heard it right. Something as cute as a pet dog can also be deemed illegal. Want to know whether your dog is among the list of illegal dogs or not? Watch the video till the end. Let's begin. Number 13. Sharpei The Chinese Sharpei is a dog breed known for its wrinkled and loose skin. Despite the fact that the Chinese Sharpei is just the 134th breed recognized by the American Kennel Club, the dog breed has been around for centuries. Unfortunately, they were created to defend, hunt, herd, and subsequently battle, so they can be a handful to pet. They are now known for their unique short bristly coat, loose wrinkled skin, and family devotion. The Chinese Sharpei has surged in popularity since the late 20th century, and its numbers have increased dramatically. To avoid behavioral issues, this breed requires early and intensive socialization. For this reason, selecting a recognized experienced breeder is critical. Without adequate socialization, the sharp pace roots as a guard dog can lead to suspicion, aloofness or hostility against strangers. An unsocialized sharp paid dog with a hunting background may cause problems in the home by attempting to hunt cats or other pets. A char guarding pace instincts may cause them to bark at visitors, despite the breed's overall quietness. Therefore, be very thorough before getting a sharp pay for yourself. Number 12. Rhodesian Ridgebacks Male Ridgebacks stand 25 to 27 inches tall at the withers and weigh around 40 kg. Females stand 24 to 24 in tall and weigh around 32 kg. Ridgebacks are normally muscular, with a light wheaten to red wheaten coat that should be short, dense, sleek, and glossy, rather than wooly or silky. They may also have white spots on the chest or toes. The AKC standard does not address the existence of black guard hairs or ticking, though it does state that the amount of black or dark brown in the coat should not be excessive. Rhodesian Ridgebacks have been labeled as dangerous in both the United States and internationally. However, Reading the AKC's profile of the even-tempered breed may make you wonder why. Well, according to most experts, Ridgebacks have an autonomous mind of their own. The breed is also described as highly trainable in the proper hands. They can be willful or dominant. In other words, they want to be the boss. You must demonstrate to them that you mean what you say by being consistent. Nonetheless, news of a bite or attack by a Rhodesian Ridgeback sends many supporters of breed-specific loss into a frenzy. Some countries have outright bans on the breed. Even in locations where a ban hasn't been suggested, some insurance companies and landlords have restrictions on the breed. Similarly, if you possess one of these dogs, landlords and homeowners associations may refuse to allow you to move into a property. So be serious about the warnings and be very thorough about their training. Number 11. The Alaskan Malamute In some countries, the Alaskan Malamute is regarded as an athletic and affectionate family companion, while in others, it's seen as a dangerous breed. Some countries in the world have banned or restricted the breed's ownership. This could be due to the fact that not every dog owner is prepared to match the need of such an energetic canine. The more an animal is trained, the more his intelligence develops. The Alaskan Malamute Club of Victoria explains. With a Malamute, this can produce both positive and harmful effects. Alaskan Malamutes, like other dogs with a strong prey drive, according to Dog Time, they have an inborn need to chase and sometimes kill other creatures. That instinct can be triggered by anything whizzing by, cats, squirrels, and possibly even cars. These dogs rarely attack or bite people. They do, however, frighten individuals who are worried about what may happen if a child goes past, even if most Malamutes just want to join in the fun. Number 10. Pitbull Terrier The American Pitbull Terrier is far, far cleverer than other Pitbull Terrier breeds. They have a good body and are energetic, but if they are not properly socialized, they can be dangerous and frightening. Many countries have banned American Pitbull Terriers because not all of them are safe. The American Pitbull Terrier is a cross of Old English Terriers and Old English Bulldogs. Those two breeds are now extinct, but the American Pitbull Terriers have carried on their gameness, 
athleticism, and strength. The American Pit Bull Terrier was the name given to the breed when it came to the United States in the 19th century. They may be hostile toward humans and animals because they inherited particular genes from their ancestors or because they were socialized in an incorrect manner. Anyway, it's not best to pet them if it makes them hazardous. Only a small percentage of American Pit Bull Terriers are dangerous, but their extremely eager attitude and powerful body can pose problems. In countries like Australia, New Zealand, Ecuador, France, Germany, and Spain, they are illegal. They are also prohibited in the province of Ontario, as well as in some U.S. states. Number 9. Siberian Husky Hey, wait, what? Siberian Husky is in the list too? Let's get into the details. A thickly coated compact sled dog of medium size and exceptional endurance, the Siberian Husky was intended to work in packs, pulling light loads at moderate speeds across huge ice stretches. Siberian Huskies are considered to be courteous, meticulous, and respectful. The almond-shaped eyes of the sleek, medium-sized Siberian Husky can be brown or blue, and sometimes both. They communicate a keen but pleasant and even mischievous look. Siberians are recognized for their powerful but seemingly easy pace, which makes them quick and nimble-footed. They are notably smaller and lighter than their robust relative, the Alaskan Malamute, weighing no more than 60 pounds. They appreciate family life and get along with other dogs because they were born as pack dogs. Because of their inherent friendliness, Sibes make poor watchdogs. These are high-energy canines who can't stop chasing tiny animals, therefore ample running space is essential. Sibes are naturally clean, with little doggy odor, which is an appealing trait of the breed. In recent years, Huskies have become far too popular for their own good as a result of the direwolf mania among Game of Thrones viewers. Husky puppies have been flooded onto the market by puppy mills. As a result, many puppies grow up in unsuitable environments, which might lead to subsequent temperamental problems. When owners fail to provide these lively dogs with adequate training or exercise, temper issues might arise. According to dog expert, Siberian Huskies are now frequently getting banned by home owners insurance companies. Although very few studies have ever shown that Siberian Huskies are a breed with high tendencies to bite people, many individuals unfortunately believe stereotypes. Because Huskies have a wolf-like appearance, many people are quick to assume the worst about these gentle dogs. Number 8. Mastiff Neapolitan Mastiffs are an Italian breed with a loving demeanor. However, due to their high proportions, a fully grown Mastiff can be dangerous around little children. Mastiffs that aren't adequately trained or that are psychologically unwell can be dangerous to their owners and others. The Neapolitan Mastiff may reach a height of 60 to 70 meters and weigh 50 to 70 kilos. They are usually black, gray, or leaden in color and have a short lifespan of up to 10 years. Their origins may be traced back to 700 BCE in the Roman Empire, where they were utilized as war dogs, gladiators, and guardians. Cane Corso is a close relative of this breed. Singapore and a few jurisdictions in the United States have declared the breed illegal. If you wish to adopt or buy a dog in some countries, the dog must undergo a psychological evaluation. Number 7. Borbel the Borbel is a South African breed that is brave, fearless, and has robust movement. The fact that they have extremely lethal bite attacks is why they are banned in several places. When they bite, they can shred a person's muscles, tendons, and even crush the bones in some situations. The name Borbel literally means farmer's bulldog, and it was given to them because they were used in groups to chase down leopards and baboons. These dogs were used by farmers and the settlers in South Africa to guard themselves and their families in the forests. Brown, fawn, or brindle is the most common color. These canines are extremely self-assured and show no fear of other dogs or strangers. They may even attempt to dominate or display hostility in the face of a threat. Because they act violently towards new persons or threats, these dogs cannot be left alone with children or strangers. Romania, Denmark, Russia, and Ukraine have all prohibited the breed, and muzzles are required to be worn over their mouths. Number 6. Fila Brasileiro With a moniker like Brazilian Fighting Dog, it's no surprise that many are concerned. 
This impression may explain why the Brazilian Mastiff, a huge working dog, is prohibited in many areas. In fact, you may anticipate to run into a lot of people who have preconceived notions about this ancient breed. The Filo Brasileiro, like many other breeds, should not be given to a first-time dog owner. They are 100% committed to their family, cuddly, playful, wonderfully loving with children. Yet they are also ferociously protective of people they regard to be their family. Fila owners agree that their dogs love everything that is theirs and despise everything that isn't. Strangers irritate Fila Brasileiros more than any other breed. They make great security dogs, but only experienced dog owners with the time to dedicate to proper training and socialization, as well as those who have thoroughly researched the breed and are aware of its possible risks, should acquire them. Number 5. Cane Corso The intimidating figure and massive size of the Cane Corso, also known as the Italian Mastiff, has led to widespread bans. To be fair, these dogs require dog training knowledge from their owners. They're also not the best choice for a household with little children. They have a high hunting drive and are very territorial. They've even been known to kill cats and small dogs. So if you don't want your neighbor's pets to become his prey, you'll need a strong fenced-in area with at least a 6-foot high fence. Isolated bite and attack reports have influenced laws against this breed. We feel the vast majority of cane corsos have the potential to make terrific family companions. Cane corsos have the capacity to go in well with any neighborhood. Nonetheless, a cane corso can quickly be wrecked when placed in the hands of an unscrupulous owner. Number 4. German Shepherd the German Shepherd dog is a huge, agile, muscular canine with a noble disposition and excellent intelligence. It's widely regarded as dog kind's best all-purpose worker. The German Shepherd is a dog lover's dream. Loyal, confident, courageous, and steadfast. When viewed in outline, German Shepherd dogs can reach a height of 26 inches at the shoulder and give an image of smooth flowing curves rather than angles. They have a free and easy trot as their natural gait but they can speed up a notch or two. There are many reasons why German Shepherds are considered canine royalty, but experts believe their defining characteristic is character, loyalty, courage, confidence, the capacity to understand commands for a variety of duties, and the readiness to lay down their lives in defense of loved ones. German Shepherds will make loving family companions and staunch guards but they have a certain aloofness that does not lend itself to casual attachments. People are also concerned that German Shepherds are aggressive because of their use as police dogs. It's hard to believe that the adorable, fateful Rin Tin Tin would be prohibited from anywhere, yet some smaller U.S. towns and communities have outlawed the breed. False impressions have something to do with this too. According to a recent survey, many people think of German Shepherds as the type of dog that will bite someone at some point. Obviously, this isn't always the case, especially not with German Shepherds who get proper training and socialization. According to the New York Times, German Shepherds' troubles in recent years have been caused by faulty breeding and overbreeding. Selective breeding, whether responsible or unwise, puts dog at danger of a variety of health and behavioral issues. Number 3. Tosa this is the only breed employed in Japanese dog fighting, like sumo fighters. These canines are usually quiet in character, yet they are huge, thick, and powerful. They are prohibited because, if improperly trained, they can generate a variety of dog-related concerns, such as reacting aggressively to strangers and failing to obey orders. The Japanese Tosa developed 150 years ago in the Tosa region of Japan, when locals desired a sumo-type wrestler breed for battles. They started crossing enormous breeds like Mastiffs, Great Danes, Bull Terriers, and St. Bernards to achieve this. Because Japanese dog fighting rules stipulate that the dog should not make any noise while fighting, this breed is typically silent, but daring and courageous. When they bark, it's a big one. This breed's weight ranges from 35 to 60 kilograms. They have a big appearance and strong blocky necks, making them excellent guard dogs. The Japanese Tosa, like other enormous and giant breed canines, has a short lifespan of up to 10 years. Although there have been isolated reports of these dogs becoming aggressive or violent, they are prohibited in many countries, including the United Kingdom, Australia, Denmark, the United Arab Emirates, Iceland, and others. 
due to their dangerous heritage. Number 2. Chow Although the Chow Chow resembles a gigantic teddy bear, don't expect your neighbors to warm up to the breed. In many cities that have dangerous dog restrictions in place, as well as military housing, you can't own a Chow Chow. Improperly taught Chow Chows can be territorial and nasty. Unfortunately, this simply serves to reinforce the perception that these dogs are naturally aggressive. Aggression is the major issue with Chows. However, it's a problem that can be avoided. When confronted with a tiny dog or cat, these dogs will naturally demonstrate aggression towards dogs of the same sex, and their hunting instincts will take control. Chow Chows must be socialized very early and very often to welcome guests into the home. They are inherently protective, and if that tendency isn't reined in, it can lead to aggressive conduct later in life. Number 1. Doberman Pinscher These devoted dogs are fiercely protective and affectionate. The Doberman Pinscher is one of the most widely prohibited canines in the United States. However, the reason that breed-specific legislation and anti-dog legislation is permitted to remain and, more crucially, function as a class-action suit has a basis in the owners not getting along with other people due to a variety of reasons. Everyone has heard of a neighbor, friend, or acquaintance who couldn't keep their dog under control. As a result, individual dog breeds become a stand-in for other larger problems, recessions, shifting demography, societal inequality, according to Snopes. This isn't a new issue either. Discriminatory laws have been targeting Doberman Pinschers for decades. Wouldn't it be better if owners had to prove they can handle the breed before buying it? That's all for today. We hope you've got the idea about which dogs can cause issues and it's not safe to have them as a pet. You might get disappointed after finding the name of your favorite one in the list too. Do share your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming amazing content. Goodbye!